What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are having a look at this gorgeous Porsche 911 997 Carrera 4S convertible. It is not just any 997 as you can probably see this is a roof converted 997. This thing looks so freaking cool. It is a combination of roof parts and Reinald Mattes parts. This car has been with the current owner Ralph uh, since 2010 but before that it was converted to be sort of a uh, turbo convertible which was not yet available when the car came out. It was apparently a billionaire who owned it and uh, who just bought the car and then brought it to roof and then he brought it to Matas to have the interior done. Um, yeah, so this is a really, really special car and it is for sale on Alpha Spot. So I'll link it in the description. If you're interested, go check it out. It is very cool. So today I'm going to show you around it. We'll take a look at all the modifications and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. So 997, it was introduced in 2004, ran to 2013. And this being a Carrera 4S, of course it's four wheel drive. You get the wide body at the rear, but also you get the new 3.8 liter flat six in the back with stock 360 horsepower, but this has a supercharger kit from roof. So it has a little bit more at 435. Very nice. You also get this uh, gorgeous roof front bumper with uh, a lot of bigger air intakes and this grating, but also this intake here at the front very very cool look and then the paint this is matte titanium which was also done by Mattes. very cool look actually with those roof wheels that you get on this package 19 inch here 235 front tire and uh, of course with the bolts a very classic look behind that porsche brakes i do believe that you get an upgrade from roof as well when you go for this package uh, as well as an upgrade for the suspension. So this is roof tuned Bilstein suspension. So these packages were available from like the ground up. So you could buy this at roof and then they would build you a roof 997 with a roof VIN as well. But this was just sent to roof to be converted into this roof R compressor convertible. So at the rear, you can see these amazingly dished wheels. Uh, this is a 325 tire. So a lot of rubber here it has a lot of traction. Actually, it's a four wheel drive car. And then with that much rubber uh, rear bumper also by roof, you get a new exhaust as well. So let's just have a look at the engine. 3.8 liter with a compressor kit on top. You also get a new intercooler and a new intake. And uh, as I said, power goes from 360 to 435 and torque goes from 400 Newton meters to 470. Nice and hot in here. Now, of course you have a little spoiler here at the rear, which apparently opens a little bit further than on the coupe to uh, compensate for the difference in drag because you have a canvas top, which is kind of cool. So let me just show you that convertible top because this has also been done by Matas. So as you can see, we've got this hazelnut interior uh, headliner, but you also have this brown exterior which is super nice um, 997 they actually started development with the convertible because the logic was that it's more difficult to develop a good convertible and then you have the required stiffness uh, for the convertible that means that you have you know good stiffness for the coupe as well uh, which is something that they didn't do on the uh, previous 911s but also with the roof up i think it looks super cool this titanium gray brown combo I think it's very nice. It's a really classic combination, but still it has a, a little bit of a hot rod look with those wheels, with the exhaust, all the grating as well. Yeah, very nice. So interior, 
has been done completely by Mattes. So uh, covered in this exclusive leather everywhere on top of the dash, the steering column even down here, the doors, everything is covered in this brown leather. And then we have these titanium carbon accents on the doors, door sills, on the steering wheel, beautiful here on top as well. And it's been ergonomically sculpted by uh, Mattes, I think. So you have these, uh, these lines here. And then down here, everything is covered in that leather and then nice carpeting as well. Beautiful color, I really, really like it. Nice bucket seats as well. Not super supportive, but uh, good enough. And uh, a six-speed manual gearbox. Also available with a five-speed automatic. And uh, this is a pre-facelift car, of course. After the facelift, the PDK was introduced. And uh, as I said, this has the new 3.8 engine. So the 3.6 from the Carrera is basically the same engine you got in the 996, but this 3.8 is a new engine, uh, which is nice. So with all the specs out of the way, let's start it up. And it has this really, really nice sound. It's a little bit messy sometimes. It's, it's deep, it sounds powerful. I really, really like it. So I've got an extra cam for uh, backup audio. And of course we're going to get the roof off on the B road and then uh, we'll raise it again when we go to the Autobahn. Alrighty, so here we go, lovely to have a manual gearbox in this car, I think it makes the car so much better. So little windows up as well to protect us from the wind. Let's see if the horses are here. Yes, they are. Oh, but. It is so nice. I love 997s. They have such a analog feel. And uh, especially if you have a manual gearbox, they just feel like proper classic sports cars oh we also have a matte titanium tiles which is custom so a lot of custom parts on this car which is really nice it, it feels very special in here little burble so Put the dampers in sport mode, exhaust valves open, DSM off. All right. So Ralph is selling the car because he is going to partly live in South Africa. Uh, but he said he's really sad about selling the car. He's owned it since 2010. And uh, it's been maintained by Luf ever since he bought it. So it's in really, really good condition. and. It is a very, very special car. I just, I love roofs. I, I don't think I've ever driven or even seen a roof that I didn't really love. Like, I just love what they do. Oh. It is quick. I feel like the supercharger, it, it takes a while to get up to steam. It's like four and a half, maybe four and a half thousand RPM, maybe even five. But then you feel that you get that extra push. Oh. And it kind of screams the engine, right? It's it's not a uh, it's not just a flat six anymore. You can hear that, even though you don't really hear a supercharger per se. You do hear. Like a screaming that, that didn't used to be there. Oh, lovely. Suspension setup is really good as well. So this is the, the firmest setting. 
but it's actually uh, very very good for a B road like this. Whoa. It's quite torquey as well. It's it's it still feels relatively uh, naturally aspirated, I would say. It's still very rewarding to go, you know, through the revs, but because you have that supercharger, you do have a little bit more mid-range torque. And also uh, the suspension and just all these changes, I think, make it feel like a little bit less old, basically. Oh. Oh, that is lovely. So let's get the top on before we hit the autobahn. Uh, I'm just going to do that over here. There we go, beautiful hazelnut Alcantara headliner. Windows up and we're ready to go. So yeah, turn on the camera. Very good, Max. Okay. So top speed should be like 308 kilometers an hour, which is very nice. So let's find out. It is a Sunday, but uh, it's not too early anymore. It's 11 o'clock. So let's find out if we can get close to that magic number. So here we go, fourth gear, full throttle. Shifting at uh, just over 7,000 RPM. I mean, it get up, it gets up there. That's 270. That's not bad for a almost 20-year-old car. Brakes, brake pedal actually is very nice. It's quite firm. All right, so let's switch the dampers to not sport mode yeah that's a big difference wow that's very good it is a Sunday that means that you have to take into consideration that there are different kinds of drivers on the road than if we are here uh, during the week <laughs> so there we go again it is it is quite quick it picks up speed easily and it just kind of keeps going at the same rate. It's not super explosive. But it kind of just keeps going. Look at that, that is very cool. 
it's very stable still it's just it takes a little bit more concentration than modern cars of course but i mean that was what, 311 very very good wow what a car i i just love old porsches and uh, roofs in particular of course so yeah if you're interested in this car i think it's a really special spec uh, the, the roof R compressor is cool enough as it is but then to have this like custom built interior the uh, titanium matte paint and uh, the very very cool wheels yeah this is a special special car so thanks Ralph for uh, letting us have a go in it and of course to Max as well for uh, sending us an email asking us if we wanted to drive it uh, really really enjoyed it thank you so much uh, if you have a cool car you want to submit send us an email or a dm on instagram and uh, we'll have a look at it thank you so much for watching order is here so fun is over i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video this playlist and i'll see you at the next one bye